hunting bulls in your home state, it's a pretty incredible experience. And to be able to do it with your husband by your side, well, that made it all the more sweet. Actually, I think it's northwest a little bit, so we'll try and get a little bit east of them. That's not very far away either. on Winchester Deadly Passion. Melissa and her husband, Ben, are bow hunting elk on the Rosebud Reservation. With nearly 2,000 square miles of perfect elk habitat, the Rosebud Reservation is known to grow huge bulls. Melissa and her husband, Ben, will be tag teaming and running and gunning after screaming bulls for an unbelievable bow hunting adventure. Hunting bulls in your home state, it's a pretty incredible experience. And to be able to do it with your husband by your side, and just weeks after having a baby, well, that made it all the more sweet. That's right. Little Jacks arrived late August, just two weeks before the opening day of season. And lucky for me, my parents were kind enough to come in and to take care of a brand new baby so I could go out elk hunting. Ben's mom and dad took care of the older kids, and we were off. South Dakota isn't, uh, you know, one of the hot spots in the country when it comes to elk, especially, you know, trophy quality elk. So a lot of people don't really know about it. The average elk hunter thinks of, you know, going elk hunting or think of states like Colorado, Wyoming, New Mexico, Arizona, states like that. But South Dakota, especially in the Black Hills, you know, and it's, it's really good elk habitat. They have a lot of elk out there. A lot of people don't really know or, or realize that there's elk, obviously, in some of the reservations in South Dakota. And Rosewood's got a good elk herd. There's a lot of good bulls running around. The agricultural fields that they feed in, there's, you know, there's good ponderosa pine country, good rolling hill country, and there's a good herd, and there's good, obviously really good hunting. Months of scouting, glassing, and strategic trail cams has helped locate several large bulls. Now one of the things that we were really trying to utilize is our cameras. We had trail cameras out all over the place. And a lot of these are cellular cameras so that we could be getting feedback all throughout the summer without having to drive an hour and a half out to the spots. And that is something that is key. We put one of our cameras on a water tank and it is unbelievable the number of deer, the number of elk that were coming to this specific location.
Coming up next, Melissa and Ben start their South Dakota dream hunt for giant screaming bulls. Don't miss it, right here on Winchester Deadly Passion. Closed captioning provided by DSG Outerwear. Doing something great for women in the outdoors by outfitting with the ultimate in fit, function, warmth, and comfort in women's hunting gear. Designed specifically for women by women. Outfitting every season from sizes extra small to 5XL. Visit DSGOuterwear.com to locate a retailer near you. This segment was brought to you by Sportsman's Alliance. Our heritage, our fight. Protecting hunting from coast to coast. Did you know that not a single North American animal has gone extinct due to regulated sport hunting? In fact, because of license fees, taxes, and non-monies generated by hunters, there's better habitat and more animals than ever. In 1900, there were approximately 500,000 white-tailed deer. Today, there are more than 32 million. 50 years ago, only 12,000 antelope remained. Today, there are more than 1 million. Just another fun fact showing how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. Melissa and her husband Ben are bow hunting the Rosebud Indian Reservation for monster bulls. I think what we'll do is just try. We got a, got a north wind, so. Actually, I think it's northwest a little bit, so we'll try and get a little bit east of them. That's not very far away either. So, we'll keep going. We'll just go see, we'll see what we can find. If the shooter will set up. And... That bugle's close. It's getting time. They're coming to the coast. Yeah. Not only did I have an elk tag, I had a deer tag too. And we had something close to a 200 inch deer coming into the water. And this is right where we were elk hunting. So I'm thinking at any point in time, if we see this giant buck, I could pull my deer tag too. This is by no means Melissa's first elk hunting adventure. She's an avid elk hunter with huge bulls under her belt. Now I've hunted public land and I've taken bulls there. I've taken bulls on private land. I've taken bulls on tribal land. But when you can get in and they haven't been called to, it truly does make a lot easier experience and it makes it more fun. In fact, I used to hunt with one of my good friends from college and we would go out during the peak of the rut and we actually could use rifles at this location. Now this is all free range and we had some of the best elk hunting you have ever seen. Let's set up. In fact, we killed seven bulls in three days and I got to be there by everyone's side filming those bulls, and we had so much fun together. You ready? Elk hunting is tough, it's physical, but it's rewarding. And you have so much fun together in the field that you really just cannot wait to do it again. But when it all works, all that hard work pays off and you are so proud of what you have done. And it is a big accomplishment. To take a nice bull anywhere in the country takes hard work, it takes dedication, and you have to be a good hunter. So going out there and enjoying it with friends, enjoying it with family, to me, that's what it's all about. Foot on a huge top. turkey foot. <laughs> Congratulations. Coming up next. The challenge continues on getting within bow range of one of these monster bulls. More to come.
come on Winchester Deadly Passion. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Hard-Hitting Easton Arrows. Winchester, the American legend. HHA Sports, the leader in single pin technology. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology Plus. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Spy Point Trail Cameras. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. And Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV UTV accessories. We're out here in South Dakota on the Rosebud Reservation hunting elk and well we haven't had the best of luck on the weather. Yesterday it literally rained all day. I can remember the last time we've had two days worth of rain and this morning it's been raining. Finally we got it to let up a little bit. The good news is the weather's a lot cooler. This is probably the first cool front these elk have had all year so it should really get them bugling. Either way it's mid-September, the rut is on, these bulls are all over the place but we are definitely putting on the miles we've been putting in 10 11 12 miles a day but that's what you've got to do to get after these bulls To me, I've always been of the opinion that, you know, I would rather not call to a, to a bull. In my opinion, you, your odds go up when you use the element of surprise. You know, I don't want them knowing I'm there. I don't want them knowing, you know, doing any calling and knowing there's another elk there, you know, then they tend to want to go downwind or find out your position. My main strategy would be to, you know, the element of surprise and spot and stalk, getting in tight on them to the point where they don't know you're there. Coming up next, bulls are in bow range right here on Winchester Deadly Passion. On this week's Fleet Farm Gear Bag, we're hunting elk, and the tool I'd say that helped us the most scouting was hands down our spy point cameras. The Force 20 has stunning picture and video quality and gave us all the information needed. Next, scent control is huge, and we use Wildlife Research Center's Scent Killer Gold to spray down both before and during the hunt to keep our scent to a minimum. Lastly, when it comes to clothes, comfort and functionality is huge. For this warm weather hunt, I chose the DSG Outerwear Bexley Ripstop Tech to keep me cool and covered. If you need to stock up on gear, head to a Fleet Farm near you or check out FleetFarm.com. 
Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews Archery. DSG Outerwear, doing something great. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Silent Legion Suppressors, embrace the silence. Everly Stock, go in light, come out heavy. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Winchester, the American legend. Bino Dock, what a cup holder should be. Safari Club International, first for hunters. Redneck Blinds, the best hunting blinds on the planet. And Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. This segment was brought to you by Safari Club International, first for hunters. Show your hunter pride by joining today at safariclub.org. Melissa Buckman and husband Ben are bow hunting elk on the Rosebud Reservation. With huge bulls in the area, Ben and Melissa are both eager to get within range of one of these herd bulls and close the deal. Did not get to break. <laughs> that bull would have just followed those cows. We had them all come through at 40 yards. Got away, got up here, another close call. <laughs> Time to go, it's not easy. I think we can maybe try to get back on him. It's an awesome bull. We've been in close. I mean, we had these satellite bulls right in on us over and over. And that herd bull, he just made one right move and there we sat. I mean, couldn't have really set up in a better spot. No, we were in the right spot, just didn't work out. Got close. It was awesome though. That's a lot of bugling in close to see all those cows, to trick them, to be sitting there and have them all stream through and have all those satellite bulls. Pretty awesome. Been even cooler to see my arrow for yeah. one. <laughs> that full draw twice. So. I think we had him inside 40 twice. Just my branch no, no and shots. Can't take a two quarter and two shot and can't shoot through trees with bows, so we're just the way it goes, but hopefully we'll get back on or find another one. And that's what's so important is getting out there and enjoying the entire part. For me, I was super lucky to be able to be hunting with my husband by my side and to be experiencing just the breathtaking views out in the Rosebud. It truly is just a cool area to hunt and so many animals. We've got big mule deer, whitetails, elk, antelope, prairie dogs, ducks. We've got pheasants. We've pretty much got it all. So in my mind of everywhere I've ever hunted, South Dakota is my favorite, and now South Dakota is my home. And on this trip, well, I knew these big South Dakota bulls, hopefully they were going to be in trouble, and we were willing to put in whatever amount of time was needed. Coming up next week, Melissa and Ben both shoot giant bulls on the Rosebud Reservation. Tune in for the second part of this amazing bow hunt right here on Winchester Deadly Passion. We didn't get very far on over in Ben's elk, and we heard another giant. Well, we heard a good bugle. We heard bugles all over. 
went and chased him. It was the big sucker that they had seen before. And we just killed a bull for me. Yeah, same day. Same day. <laughs> this is such a big fucking up here. I'm shooting rage hypodermic. Made for penetration, I'm shooting slim arrows. Closed captioning is brought to you by Spy Point Trail Cameras. Stunning picture quality combined with leading cellular technology will keep you instantly in the loop right from your phone. Follow Melissa on Twitter at Melissa Bachman, on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Winchester Deadly Passion, and Instagram at Melissa underscore Bachman for behind the scenes footage, photos, giveaways, and much more.